For some of you, seeing something like this looks very confusing. We have a function notation, we have domain, and then on top of it, you have to come together with the T chart. But this actually is very easy. And as a matter of fact, this is a lot easier than many things you've done before. First thing that I want you to notice is that domain, we know that it's all our possible x values. So in my T chart, I'm saying, I'm just going to list my domain. 0, 1, 2, and 3, which is exactly the same values that are given to me. Now, how am I going to find my range? Remember, the range is, the va is all the possible values of your dependent variable. So remember, my function gives me the value of my dependent variable. In this case, my function depends of x, which I already have my values. So all that you really have to do is use the function notation and evaluate the function. So we're going to start with f of 0. So that will be negative 4. And instead of writing x, I will put in parentheses 0. So what is the value of f of 0? Or what is the value of my function when x equals 0? Negative 4 times 0 equals 0. So right here in my t chart, when my x is 0, I know that my range, the value of my dependent variable, will be 0. Now, how do I find the rest of them? Very simple. I evaluate the function again. So I'll find f, but in this case, instead of f of 0, I'm going to find f of 1, because the value of my x is 1 now. So again, I'm going to put negative 4. And instead of x, I will write parentheses. 1. So f of 1 equals negative 4 times 1, negative 4. So for my domain 1, when my x is 1, the value for my range will be 4. Now I have to find my f of 2. So again, negative 4. And instead of the x, I will write parentheses, a 2. f of 2 equals negative 4 times 2 gives me negative 8. So this will be a negative 8. My last one, same idea, but now the value of my x is 3. So that means that I'm finding f, sorry about that, of 3. And again, that will be negative 4. And instead of x, we're going to put in parentheses a 3. So what would that be? f of 3 equals negative 4 times 3, negative 12. So for my x3, my y or will be negative 12. And that's how you do it.